So I got liquid dirt because my plants aren't doing so well and I don't and I actually gave them um a regular chemical fertilizer and I might have like burnt my plants. <laughs> I didn't give a lot at all. I gave them a tiny bit and it's not looking good. And that's why I got something that's more organic. Is it organic? Yeah, it's organic. <laughs> I wanted to get something organic and something that's not gonna um, burn my plants during winter because it's still quite cold here and there's not much sunlight. So yeah, I got liquid dirt and then I realized uh, a lot of people are confused on how to dilute them to be able to use on your house plants. Um, one of the mistakes people make is in the back there's uh, instructions and there's one for house plants and people just follow this one we're supposed to follow three steps so that's the first step second step and third step and I'm going to um, I'm going to show you how I'll be diluting this um, yeah so let's just get on I guess um, so the things you will need is liquid dirt. So this comes in powder. I don't know if you can hear that, uh, which is really nice uh, because I don't live in the US and for them to be able to ship it internationally, uh, I think it's a really great idea to like send it as like a super concentrated form in like a powder form. So there's no liquid in it. It's easier to ship. It's cheaper. And yeah, I think that's really nice. Uh, so this is the first thing you need. Second, something with a uh, measurement, like a measuring cup. I just have this one. Um, it has fluid ounce and milliliter. So I'm just gonna use this cup to measure my um, liquid. Third thing you need is a gallon of filtered or distilled water. Uh, I have a two liter bottle. So a gallon would be, I have all the measurements, wait. <laughs> So, so a gallon would be 3.8 liters in metric system. Um, is it the metric system? Yeah. Uh, but I have a 2 liter, so that would be about half a gallon. And I'm going to show you how... Uh, I'm going to tell you how I would be doing... Uh, <laughs> I can't... I can't speak. I'll be showing you how I would be using this mix and you also need a watering can um, the one I have is so there's a line here and this line is about two liters I measured it with my cup so I would um, fill filtered water all the way to like the last line I have and then I would pour it in to see how many liters this had and because it doesn't say anywhere uh, but yeah, this is 2 liter of watering can, so I'll just put that to the side. And if you want to follow the exact directions, get a gallon bottle of distilled or filtered water. Uh, I didn't want to use, I didn't want to use uh, filtered water because we have really really hard water here in Germany, or at least where I live, and we I have a filter that I use to water my plants but um, because this is going to last me a couple of years I think I don't want to have any minerals that's left over after using the filter so I just got the distilled water anyways uh, let's start so so the first step is to make a uh, concentrate it says fill one cup uh, of water into the pouch so one cup of water is eight ounce here. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna take the distilled water and measure it up. So I don't have cups here, but I have uh, ounces. So I'm just gonna use that and fill eight ounces if I can open this. Oh, you also need a funnel. I don't have one. So I'm gonna be using this bottle with the um, sippy cup thing. I use this to water my terrarium. But yeah, I'm just going to use that. Otherwise, it's going to be really difficult to get the water 
in this tiny uh, opening. Anyways, so right now I'm measuring out one cup or eight fluid ounces. Distilled water. I'm also, and then if you have a funnel, use the funnel. Um, a lot of people said just tap the top so the the nano powder doesn't go all over in your face. I'm just gonna go to the sink to fill this into this because I think it's gonna be a bit of a mess. Okay, so I just poured in one cup of water into this bottle. If you have a funnel, I think it's just easier. If you don't have a funnel, you can go and get the same bottle that I'm using. I mean, I don't know how well it's gonna work, but we'll see. <laughs> and I'll just open this. Oh, by the way, I got this from Amazon, uh, the German Amazon. Okay, so that's open. It looks like black powder. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it just looks like super fine black powder. Then I'm just gonna put one cup or eight fluid ounces or 240 milliliters of water inside. I think I'll do halfway and then mix it up and then fill the rest of the water just to make sure there's um, enough space in the pouch to mix everything up. Okay, so I think that's about halfway. I'm just gonna close this up. So I think I've mixed them up. I'm just gonna fill up the rest of the water. Okay, so that's one cup of water in the pouch. Um, ooh. <laughs> you see the bubbles. <laughs> so I'm just gonna close this up and give it a good shake again. Oh yeah, it's not even shaking, I guess. Cause there's not, there's not like any space in the pouch anymore. But yeah, it feels very full now. The next step is to make a mix. So we have done this top part to make a concentrate. And then the second would be, um, so they, they have like for houseplant, for a vegetable and garden and for lawn, blah, blah, blah. But uh, I only have houseplants. So um, this is the second step where we make a mix. And to make a mix, uh, you have to add one cap full of the concentrate that we just made and add it to the gallon and as i said before i don't have a gallon uh, but i'll explain why or how i would do uh, di dilute this uh, later on uh, but i'm just gonna do it as per the instructions so just imagine this is a gallon bottle and if you have a gallon bottle just uh, follow step by step um, i have half a gallon but just imagine this is a gallon bottle. So I have to put one cap full in uh, here to make a mix. Now, um, I don't want to use the cap because it's kind of messy or I've seen online how messy it could get. So uh, I'm going to... I'm going to be using a measuring cup that I got from Ikea. It's just uh, in my kitchen. And 
So I did the math and one cap full. So this entire pouch is supposed to make 50 gallons of the mix, which means there's 50 capfuls of concentrate in the pouch. So I did some math and it turns out to be 4.8 milliliters for uh, the gallon or the cap full is 4.8 milliliters. I have, okay, this is super loud. I'm just gonna take the spoon out. So I'm just going to use the five milliliter spoon. I'll just fill it like a tad bit less, hoping that it's gonna be 4.8. And then, uh, yeah, put it in my gallon bottle. This is not, this is a half, this is half a gallon. But if you have a gallon bottle, you do the, the exact same thing. Or if you want to um, dilute it like I do, then you can also get a two liter bottle. It's not gonna be an issue. So I'm just gonna take the concentrate. And it's just super black. I don't want to drop this. I don't know if you can see that. Mm, should I bring it closer? <laughs> I'm a bit scared. I don't know if you can see that, but it's super black. Anyways, I'm just gonna put it in my jug. And then just clean out the spoon. And obviously because I took one cup out of this to fill it in that, in the pouch, I'll have to top it up with some water. And I'm gonna also give this a good mix. So this is twice the concentrate because I only used half a gallon. But that's fine because I'm gonna explain the last step. So this is the mix that we made, the second step. Uh, I'm just going to close this up before I drop it. I think it's going to be like a mess. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't messy at all, which is nice. And uh, so we just made a mix. I'm also going to top it up with water because it's because we took some water out of here and put it in the pouch. So for that, I'm just going to use the filtered water. I would say it was about there and yeah I'll give it a good mix some people let it sit for like 15 minutes um, so that everything can the water can incorporate all the nano powder things but I think it doesn't say that on the let me check it doesn't say that on the packaging I think you can just use it right away yeah I think I can just use it. So if you have a gallon bottle that you made a mix with, then you have to add 20 milliliter. Oh, so now we <laughs> we actually make the water that you water your plants with, okay? And here, uh, that would be this part of the instructions on the packaging. So you add, if you have a gallon bottle, then you add 20 milliliters or two tablespoon from the mix into one quart of water. So a quart is almost uh, one liter. And as I said, I have two liters um, watering jug. So I would be, so I would have to put 40 milliliter. Um, so it's 20 milliliter per liter. I have two, so it's gonna be 20 plus 20, 40 milliliter or four tablespoons of the mix that goes into my watering can so I can plant, uh, so I can water my plants. But because I have a half a gallon of mix with one full cap, so instead of using 20 milliliters into my watering jug, I'll be using 10. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> so my constant, uh, my mix is twice as strong as, um, um, so my mix is twice as strong because I made it in a half a, in half a gallon. So it's a lot darker than what you would see uh, other YouTubers make. Um, so I would be just 
instead of uh, putting 20 liters per quart, I will be putting 10, uh, 20 milliliters per quart. I will be putting 10 milliliters. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so I already have filtered water in here. So this is a 15 ml spoon and I have a 5 ml spoon so that would be 20 milliliter. So I'm just gonna add this. So I would pour, this is 15 ml. Five mils. And because I'm not f filling it all the way to the top, I'm just gonna add a bit more. That's a lot more. <laughs> Anyways, that should be okay. I heard it's very difficult to like burn your plants using liquid dirt. So now. So now we have the watering can and you can use this to water your plants every watering and it's not going to burn your plants or it's not supposed to burn your plants. I'm just going to show you the water. Uh, it looks like this. So it has like a tint of brown um, but it's not super dark at all actually. Um, and yeah, this is going to last quite a while. So it's two liters. And I just need um, 20 mils per watering can. So that's going to be like 200 cans, no, 100 cans of this. I don't know how, like how many uh, cans I go through when I water my plants. I go through quite a lot because I have a few plants. Um, yeah, but that lasts a long time. And then I can make 49 more of these using this. So it wasn't cheap, like getting this tiny pouch, but if you think about how many times you can water your plants without worrying that they're gonna get fertilizer burn, I think it's a really good deal. Yeah, so that's how you dilute your liquid dirt. If you have any questions, please uh, write in the comment section below and maybe I can help you somehow with all the measuring and everything. I know it's like really confusing. I saw a lot of reviews on Amazon about people like not following through with all the steps. Like some people would just put one cap full of the powder into their watering can and would use that to water their plants and they were complaining that it burnt their plants and everything. So yeah, and yeah, so if I can help you <laughs> with any of the confusing stuff, then yeah, I would definitely love to. I don't want any of you to lose uh, your precious plants. Like, I don't have any expensive plants, but I would be devastated if I burnt, like, a, like even my cheap plants, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah, and if you found this video helpful, it would be very nice if you can like or dislike, even if... I know I'm really awful at explaining things. Um, yeah, so that would be helpful because uh, even a bad feedback is a feedback, and I know I have to improve my videos. For it to be really enjoyable for everybody to watch um, yeah and thanks for watching and I hope I will be more consistent uh, uploading videos and yeah enjoy your plant journey and I hope the winter isn't too long where you are um, yeah see you in the next video